talking about all day. It is our last trip on site here for you and I to the Keeneland Spring Meet. The Keeneland Spring Meet goes into this next week. We'll still have reports from Jill Byrne throughout. But as far as traveling here, it's really a bittersweet uh, day for me because it'll be my last day here on site. So uh, it's very appropriate that we bring in Nick Nicholson, president and CEO of the Keeneland Association. Happy Spring Meet. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel it's been going so far? Well, it's been a, it's been a very interesting Spring Meet. The, uh, the weather's been less than perfect. The crowds have been great. We're on a uh, great row as far as our attendance goes. Uh, it's been a fun meet, I think. Uh, so uh, by and large, it's been great. And you look at this day. This day stands out to me last year as well, and that is Military Day. Yeah. I can remember it was one of the more emotional days I've ever experienced anywhere at the racetrack in all my time in racing. Talk about the success of this day and what it means to Keeneland to be hosting these young men and women in our armed forces. Well, Todd, as you know, uh, part of Keeneland's mission is our relationship with our community and uh, our state. and. Part of that uh, is Fort Knox, which is one of the great military stations in our country. And we got with the people at Fort Knox and we said we want to do something for the soldiers. And part of the soldierization, is what they call it, of, of the troops going through basic training is to let them learn how much respect people have for what they do. That if you're a member of the United States military, it means something and you're respected. And so the, the military likes the opportunity to have people interact with the crowd, and we certainly love the opportunity to, uh, to show what uh, uh, warmth and love and appreciation that all Americans have for these fine young men and women. Uh, it, it's, uh, uh, for those of you that are not here today, you, you're missing the, uh, something that's very emotional, very special. You see them walk on this morning right shortly before our national anthem. And, to have uh, the chance to, to meet these people and find out where they're from. They're from all over the country. Uh, we've set up phone banks today. Windstream Corporation, our local phone company, has done a great uh, job of setting up phone banks and so people are being able to call their loved ones. And it's very touching, very emotional, but just a reminder, these are fine young men and women. The interaction you talked about with the crowd on display as you saw this morning as everyone applauded and stood up and honored them upon their arrival before the national anthem. But it continues throughout the day right until the time that they leave. People will make way. You know, race trackers like to get out of here once the day is done, but everyone will stand aside, let them go first, and applaud them on the way out. And, and that interaction last year was with cell phones, so it's nice someone stepped up with the phone bank. Windstream did that. The CEO of Windstream happened to be here last year, and he saw that, and he said, we're going to fix that for next year. And thank you, Windstream, you did. And this is the return of Military Day. You've done it over the last three years. Something you did new this year was letting TVG be the exclusive carrier of your premier race for this premier spring meeting, the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. Looking back, having a week now to look back at that broadcast and how it all played out, how do you feel about that decision? Well, I think it was a good decision. We, we're very excited about it. The first thing I'd like to say is just an appreciation of TVG. I thought that your team did a great job. You just cannot believe how much work goes into these broadcasts and to uh, the amount that went on before the race, a week before the race. We took a chance on TVG because we wanted to demonstrate to race fans that there was a better way to show TV, that it wasn't just one hour on Saturday afternoon, that race fans, we thought and hoped, would appreciate substantive, competent reporting the week before, reporting on workouts, reporting on interviews of the principals, and TVG just did a great job, and uh, we're very grateful, and you were very professional. I went, went home that night and watched the telecast twice, and, and it was just, I thought you did a great job. What, one thing I wanted to say is that that opening sent cold chills up and down my <laughs> spine, and I know that TVG has a lot of writers. I know you've got a whole team of writers, <laughs> but whoever wrote that opening, truly understands about the thoroughbred in Kentucky and great job. Well, I, I have to say it was e him. Folks. <laughs> Each time I come here, I get inspired. Um, first of all, uh, there never seems to be perfection in our industry, but Keeneland comes the close to achieving it of anywhere I've ever been. And really the surrounding area, you just have to take a drive through the countryside and how can you not be inspired and be grateful for the opportunity we have here in the industry. So that is really a, a tribute to you. What we've been able to do at TVG is just take the passion that Keeneland has and hopefully give that to our our audience. Is there anything as you look to the future that um, Keeneland might be doing or is thinking about either in well, fall or spring? Well, we're always trying to improve it and we're very proud of what we do, but we but it's very important not to become complacent and that we've tried to make giant leaps on the broadcasting, on the way we do our tote board, on track us, on giving the fans new information about where the horses are. 
we have a new racetrack and I know it's causing some frustration. Our old speed bias and golden rail are gone and so it's tougher to pick winners here and, and we understand that and we appreciate that and we're trying to challenge ourselves into how we can uh, better serve our race fans into making it easier to do that. It's a tough assignment at any time. Uh, but we, we know that we have to give even better information in the future. So that's one area we're going to focus on. And the other areas, we're just going to try and continue to give the race fans what they want and to make this experience of coming to Keeneland or betting at Keeneland around the country uh, as good as we can possibly make it. Well, you set the bar high each and every year with your own expectations. And from my experience as a racing fan, not just TVG here covering it, you guys clear that bar each and every single meet. Nick Nicholson, thank, thank you. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Best to all your TVG colleagues and thank them for the job they did last weekend. And thank you to your staff. President and CEO of the Keeneland Association, Nick Nicholson, talking about the spring meeting, which still has some days left. A lot of important sure. racing left here. We'll come back with the next race here at Keeneland on the Sunday program. Up next, race seven, but standing by in the TVG studio.